Well, um, as far as I'm concerned, the, um, for me, the beginnings of performance art in Vancouver was pretty specific. Um, Deborah Hay came here um, with her husband, Alex, uh, in uh, 1968. And uh, she was working as, I think she called it performance art then, um, with Rauschenberg and uh, C. Paxton and Yvonne Rayner. And um, they worked, I think, first at the Jensen Church in New York, and then the, um, they called themselves the Grand Union. And uh, they combined, I think they, they were mostly out of, well, except for Rauschenberg. Uh, Deborah Hay and uh, Yvonne Rayner were out of a movement tradition, dance, uh, kind of a dance choreography tradition. Um, and, uh, uh, but they added lots of things to it. I think basically, um, the way I kind of saw it, it seemed like to me like performance uh, as they introduced it to us. Uh, she did, uh, Deborah did a workshop here in Vancouver at Vancouver Art Gallery. It was basically a kind of conceptual um, practice. Um, and it might have come out of that uh, uh, wider Sexual art idea. Um, she did. Um, she did this workshop, and it was quite a revelation. Um, Gavin Falk was a member. I was a member of the workshop. Uh, George Sia from Dental Idea, or later went on to become part of Dental Idea in Toronto. Um, and Michael Morris was there, as well as some other um, people. Not many more. I think there's maybe a couple. I can't remember now. Um, Anyway, it was it was really interesting, and uh, it was as Gaffney Falk uh, said. Um, what she got out of it was that uh, uh, there was a beginning, a middle, and an end <laughs> to to the firm's work, uh, which uh, could be, I suppose, you could say it'd be the same for theory piece in some ways, although it wouldn't be narrative in that way. Anyway, that's how it came about. And then Yvonne Rayner came, and she did a um, she did another big workshop, and then I worked with her. Actually, we did a tour down the West Coast. So that's uh, what, how I got involved in it. There were some previous works. Um, uh, Ian Baxter did a piece in 65 um, called, what was it called? Um, uh, Two Tons of Ice Melted by Flame in the Air. Um, it was at one of the um, um, UBC uh, extravaganzas. Uh, Quite sure what they were called now. Somebody else will remember, I'm sure. Anyway, um, I'm not sure if it was. If, it perhaps more. It was more like a happening. Um, and then there was uh, Helen Goodwin and El Neal and Sam Perry. They used to do things together, uh, which were projections and uh, music and and dance. And again, that might have been like uh, a happening. Um, I don't think they. I don't think things were called performance art uh, previous to about 60, from 66, 67.